Hey, it's Jay, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different from my other transformation kind of makeover videos. Um, it's actually a whole flop. And I'm deciding to upload this because I want to show you guys that not all of my transformations are like perfect. But basically the backstory of this doll is I found her thrifting and I was manifesting that I'd find a sunny because I made this edit right here. <laughs> But basically after I made that edit the next day I literally found this sunny at the savers and I was so excited because as many of you may or may not know I'm trying to get pretty much dupes of the basic doll so they can wear like both sets of outfits. But I guess I'll let you guys be the judge if this is a complete flop or if I'm just being dramatic as usual. But um, let's roll the intro and see how this all goes down you know. <laughs> So here is Sunny. This is what she looked like straight out of her little baggie. Whatever child owned her last really did love her hair and it feels really nasty and gross. It's also missing its factory part line so I cannot put her hair back in the original style which sucks. Her bangs are also really fried looking and I'm not sure if they're going to you know lay flat again. She did come in her original dress which I guess is cool but other than that that's the only piece of clothing she's wearing. But just first glances she's really a big mess. So without further ado let me show you all the materials i used to fix her hair this time around so of course i used my detangler because that hair was just nasty i also used my normal little comb just for the styling part a toothbrush to clean her of any of the grime scissors because you know she had some loose ends but yeah that was pretty much it i will meet you guys now in the bathroom and we can start the cleaning process so yeah so now that we're in my bathroom, it is time to tame this rat's nest of hair that Sunny has on her head. But first, I need to take off her dress, and for some reason, I was struggling to do this. Like, I just couldn't get over her big-ass hips. And once she is fully unclothed, we can start the cleaning process. And for this, I always use dish soap. Um, I use Pam Olive, to be exact. And honestly, ever since I switched to this, all my doll's hair does not feel greasy, and I just love it. And then of course I use some suave conditioner. I use a family size bottle because I do a lot of doll hair. So as I mentioned in the beginning, um, her hair has been brushed out so she has no more parting. So um, I would have to thatch this if I really wanted to bring it back to what it was before, but I don't know how to do that too well. So I'm going to probably give her a high pony. So the first step is we're going to need to get Sunny all wet. And to be 100% honest, holding this doll's hair was so disgusting because like she had super long bits and it just felt like it was getting all over me. But after you've gotten her all wet, it's time to add in the dish soap. And I just put a nice amount because I consider that this doll is a thrifted doll. And if she was child owned, she has most likely been in a lot of dirty things. And we don't need that for our collector purposes, do we? I'm also bringing out my toothbrush so we can start cleaning her body as well because, you know, dirty. <laughs> Are you going to finish that croissant? And once I feel like she is no longer dirty, I'm just going to rinse her out in the same warm water and, you know, just get all the soap out. And now we're going to move on to conditioning. This is always my favorite part. I'm just going to add a generous amount to her hair and then we are going to lather it in. And this usually will help the hair really smooth out because she has like a really big frizz knot ball at the end of her hair. I'm also adding it to her bangs so that they kind of try to lay better a little bit. And now we're going to start detangling and I'm just going to be using my Connor brush. You can use a wet brush or any brush that will detangle. And typically I do like to split the hair down the middle, but it was just so frizzed at the end I really couldn't do it this time so um, I struggled with what I could get and I just started brushing away. Now I just want to say that this doll had a lot of long bits so I did have to cut them out and you'll see at the end of how much hair she really lost and I did pull a lot more out after I finished filming this video. Um, this doll just had really really thin hair and because of how thin she is her hairstyling opportunities are very limited. I just really want to get a sunny doll that has a lot of hair. All of mine are thinly rooted but here is one of the pigtails fully brushed out and now it's time to move on to the second one. As I've mentioned in prior videos, I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. If you start from the top, you're just going to yank out too much hair and you're also gonna break the hair plugs, which is gonna cause flyaways and those aren't cute usually. So just take your time with this step. 
Even if you have a really rat nest doll, just take your time. So now that conditioner is all in Sunny's hair, we're just going to rinse it under some warm water and then we're going to move on to boil washing. And this is how much hair Sunny lost in the process of her brush out. And now we're just going to move on to the boil washing stage. You're just going to need to get yourself a cup or mug. Um, don't mind the little screw in mine. And because I refuse to use my new steamer, I am just going to go downstairs and microwave this water. So typically I try not to boil wash Rainbow High Doll's hair. Um, in the beginning when I was doing these videos, I was boil washing them and I was noticing that a lot of their hairs were getting like really poofy from it. So I just typically try to stay away from this if I don't have to with MGA dolls in general. Now for Sunny, her hair typically doesn't get too frizzy with a boil wash. At least my first ones never did, but um, I've heard people say that her hair is quite frizzy. Um, so just, you know, take this information as you will um, if you do decide to do it let me know in the comments but as you can see after every dunk i'm just using my detangler to brush it out and i am brushing it from the top i'm being a hypocrite don't do what i'm doing but yeah it was looking really promising after the boil wash and after she was all brushed out, I put her in my towel burrito and I put her into my garage because it is super hot here in Vegas and she'll dry up in like less than an hour. So that's what I did. And after about two hours, her hair was feeling nice and dry. There's some wet bits, just don't mind that. But I already wasn't feeling happy about her hair and I still had to style it. So I am going to start by getting a rubber band and putting her hair up in a ponytail so I could just gel down her bangs a little bit easier. So I got out my second toothbrush and my got to be glue and I went to work. Now I know this looks questionable, but I was trying something out right here and it didn't work obviously, but I put the gel on the toothbrush and started combing it through her bang. It kind of just came out clumpy and it just looked super bad and it took me a lot of brushing to kind of get it to lay down properly and it just wasn't worth it. So don't do this guys. I ended up putting an elastic around her head to keep the bangs down a little bit and then I put her hair up in a kind of twisty high ponytail. It kind of reminded me of Laguna's 13 Wish doll because of the color and the style and all that. And then I just put her in this little outfit that I got from my little closet and yeah, it's all right. Um, she could be better as I have mentioned, but yeah. Okay guys, and here is Miss Sunny all cleaned up. Um, is she the best? No, but she will do for right now. At least her hair is not a big mess like it was before. I just put her in some fashions that came with Avery's closet and also the new closet that just came out. I think the outfit's cute. I was gonna put her in the second outfit, but I don't think she's second outfit worthy. <laughs> but yeah guys, this video was kind of a flop, but I mean, it lets you see that not every transformation is gonna be perfect, you know. I do wanna do a Sunny though, with this hairstyle. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked how she turned out and all that. Um, have you had dolls that you were working on that just didn't, you know, go your way? Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like my Rainbow High transformation videos. And also let me know what other doll brands you'd like to see me transform other than Rainbow High, because I could do a lot. <laughs> if this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And you should subscribe and join the family. We're really cool over here, you know what I'm saying? If you aren't following me on Instagram or TikTok, my at handle is at zombiexcorn. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.